Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode in my series on the Witcher lore. Again, I am sincerely sorry for the lack of uploads recently, but I've been on holiday and I've been with my girlfriend and I've just been spending as much time as I possibly can with her, but I am now back and about as ready as I can be to continue making videos. So last time we looked at the Keep of Care Moren, but today we're going to wander into the forests and look at the Spriggan. A Spriggan is a variant of a Leshen, a Leshen being essentially a forest guardian but a very aggressive one at that. The main distinguishing feature between the two is the look of the creature itself. A Spriggan has a twisted human-like face peering from out its torso, whereas the Leshen is often hooded by the skull of a deer. Additionally, Spriggans can only be encountered in the Duchy of Toussaint, whereas Leshens inhabit Velen and the majority of Skellige. Spriggans are the true protectors of the forest, as they are friends to the Dryads, and unlike Leshens, are much calmer creatures, and they never attack unless provoked. However, their motives for protecting their land and woodland areas are akin to those of a Leshen, as they also want to stop humans from expanding their settlements into ancient sites and sacred ground. If ever an unlucky farmer was to disturb the pasture or the forest that the Spriggan protects, it would attack with all the force it could muster. They have the power over plants and can control, manipulate or twist them to do whatever they wish. Combined with the furious strength that they have, they are very dangerous opponents to go up against. Now as to whether a Spriggan can also control animals in the same way that a Leshen does, I'm not too certain, but it does seem to hint that they have a lot of similarities in terms of how they fight and the general way they lead their lives. Spriggans are hunted in particular by a group known as Rangers, those being men and women who proclaim themselves falsely as the Guardians of the Forest. They are volunteers from a place known as Verdon, but despite their name, they are in fact murderers and hunters of non-humans. They brag and tell stories of how they have hunted and killed dryads, elves, dwarfs, and all manner of woodland creatures, no matter how rare or ancient. Which is interesting because when it comes to the natural guardians of life, the line between who is good and evil becomes kind of thin. The woodland spirits simply want to keep what has been theirs for thousands of countless centuries, but that comes at the cost of innocent lives and killing those who knew no better. Hence why witches must hunt them and make sure they pose no threat to lives that did not deserve to be lost. But of course keeping the world in a natural balance is near impossible for man, witcher, or ancient creature, no matter how wise or powerful. In our own mythos and collection of various tales throughout history, Spriggans and Leshens alike have been based on many different creatures, the first and most obvious of which being a creature known as a Spriggan, funnily enough. In Cornish fairy lore, Spriggans were known for being grotesque, ugly monsters found at old ruins and barrows where they protected buried treasure and generally acted as the bodyguards to fairies. Despite that, they were also known for being thieves and were often associated with trolls from Scandinavia. Although they are usually small creatures in build, they had the ability to swell to enormous size, this sometimes being attributed to them supposedly being the ghosts of the old giants. So there is actually quite a big difference in terms of what the Witcherverse has uh, depicted as a Spriggan and compared to what these old Cornish English tales tell of uh, these particular Spriggans. And whereas the Spriggans from the Witcherverse tend to be more isolated, it seems that uh, in common mythos, Spriggans were encountered more often, and they were very ill-behaved creatures, as they would do things such as causing mischief to those who offended them by sending in storms to destroy crops, and sometimes even stealing away mortal children, leaving an ugly changeling in their place. And according to Russian legend, Baba Yaga, a very famous Slavic folklore character, speaks to Lezovic and Borovic, who live under a mushroom, providing magical gifts to the legend's antagonist, which show him the way to reach his goal. There are many references and creations to what a Spriggan is, and they can be found in games such as Skyrim and Castlevania, to name a few. Generally speaking, they all come from very similar roots, and yes, that was not 
meant to be a pun, but it is one now. And they all share similarities, but they all have their own twist as well. The Spriggans, the Leshans, or the Leshies, or the Woodland Spirits from the Witcherverse tend to be more akin to Ents in the way that they protect their forests and everything that they hold dear in order to stop humanity or whoever from destroying it. Again, I'm sorry for the delay in videos, but as I said before, I am now back for a while and ready to keep going. I'll be releasing at least four videos a month and maybe one or two extra in between lore videos to break up the routine a little, but we'll see, I don't have any particular plans, I just know that I'm going to at least make four videos a month. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like down below and tell me what you'd like to see next. A massive thank you to my patrons for supporting me, and to all of you for being so patient, it really is uh, wonderful to know that I can go away for a little while and still come back and you're all still here, so thank you. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and please stick around because there's going to be more to come. You go and have a wonderful day. Butterfingers.